Joined now by Keith Flaw and Dominic Clemens from the Florida Citizens Alliance. Keith is the uh, managing director of the organization, and Dominic is the operations director of Florida Citizens Alliance. And as I, every time I introduce you guys, I make sure I say this. I've been in all 50 states trying to work on education in one way or another. No one has put together a better statewide organization, a more effective organization anywhere in the country than the Florida Citizens Alliance. If you're not, if you live in Florida and you're not part of this group, I urge you to get, uh, get on board with them. They have been very effective. And Keith and Dominic, I wanna welcome you to the program. Thank you. Thank you. Let's talk briefly about critical race theory because this is the great uh, problem of our time. I think I personally believe what's going on with critical race theory now makes Common Core look like old news. I mean, this is a much more serious issue, which we would expect, right? Common Core was a big step forward for the progressive leftists. This is an even bigger one. Uh, let's talk about critical race theory. Let's start with you, Keith. Give us a quick overview of critical race theory as you understand it. Well, critical race theory is a, um, a an indoctrination, uh, a whole ideology that that's built around um, uh, race uh, helping um, or, or mandating that uh, uh, race is um, more important than, than anything else. Um, there, there are a number of, of attributes or tentacles of critical race theory uh, that include uh, identity-based mar Marxism, um, equity instead of equality, uh, social justice and, and the uh, and cultural responsive teaching. So those are some of the many chemicals, and of course, wrapped around all that is social emotional learning. So what's happening in our schools is that they're adopting this ideology, this content that is uh, teaching our kids that uh, to, to become racist, in fact, um, right, and to, and to really hate the United States and our founda founding principles. Yeah, well, this is really nothing more than an extension of warmed over Marxism, Marxist dialectic. You go back 150 years, this is exactly the kind of thing that you would see in the early Soviet schools where they were getting rid of actual content based education and they were replacing state uh, state supporting ideology. That's what you have here. Dominic, you you re relatively recently graduated from college. Were you seeing the effects of critical race theory in your college? No, I, I was really lucky and blessed to be able to go to Hillsdale College where uh, they're not teaching uh, this kind of curriculum. But I know a lot of students around my age that are um, seeing it in their classrooms, it's being pushed upon them. In fact, my little sister, she goes to Eckerd College in Florida, and they were taught just last week that the United States was the reason for the Holocaust and that we should blame ourselves for the millions of lives lost in the Holocaust because we were the ones who actually influenced Hitler's um, belief in eugenics. So those are the kinds of things that they're teaching our college students. Um, and even just this past week, we found um, a parent sent this in. Uh, it was in ninth grade at a school in our county. Um, and this is kind of the subtle indoctrination they use. So I'm just going to read from this question for students. They say, write a rebuttal to the following counterclaim. Some may say that we live in a society of equality because citizenship rights have been extended for minorities and women. So they want, they're asking students to um, write a rebuttal to that claim. Um, and it's that kind of manipulation of the students of, you know, teaching these anti-American ideas in very um, sly ways in the classroom. Yeah, and even when America is perceived as doing, some, done, doing something well, right? Like expanding franchising and voting for different kinds of groups, expanding it to women, to minorities. Notice, like you said, the way the question is asked. Clearly, to the people asking the question, that's not good enough, and America is still a racist, sexist country. So what? how do you answer people who say, well, look, American history has been marked by more and more progress for more and more people. Here's how we shoot that down, right? We're training them to do that. And I honestly had never heard that one before. That, that tops the list. You actually have a college teaching kids that the Holocaust in Germany was ultimately the, res the, re the responsibility of the United States because I imagine uh, we had progressive people like Woodrow Wilson and Margaret Sanger. Is that where they get this from? I forget the name of the specific guy um, who basically started that movement. But yeah, along those same lines, these bad apples 
and then they take it and make it the bigger picture and say it was actually America's fault um, and generalize the whole issue um, instead of, you know, talking about people who believe in eugenics and and things like that. And that actually um, a lot of those kind of ideas uh, come from uh you know, people who were taught in, let's say, Columbia Teachers University, which was heavily influenced by German philosophy. So so it's really hard to just pinpoint one country and say this is where it comes from. But that's what they're trying to do. These people understand, um, communists understand that in order to take over a country, um, you have to pit people against each other. It's the um, us versus them mentality. And uh, they have basically taken America's weakness, which is slavery, um, and turned it into this kind of race war that we're seeing today. Um, and people are falling for it. And uh, it's it's really it's happening so rapidly. It's it's very scary. And on top of that, of course, we know that almost every single instance of progressivism in America prior to World War II was left wing American progressives. I'm more than sure that that doesn't get mentioned. It's the United States of America who's responsible for the Holocaust, not those left wing progressives. And so what you say, Domine, I think really plays out in the minds of people. Whatever happens, it's America's fault uh, whenever possible. Blame America. What we consider to be liberty, freedom, and opportunity is really tyranny and white supremacy. So I think that's a pretty good way to introduce critical race theory. And it's in every aspect of our kids' school. This is not just in social studies class. It's not just what they're reading in English. It's how they're approaching science. It's how math now, cultural math, is being taught to these kids. So you have in Florida one of the most forward thinking governors when it comes to this. You have Ron DeSantis. He actually banned critical race theory in Florida schools. Nobody else has really, at that level, done it. Other states have begun to do it. But here's the problem. We saw this with Common Core. We had a, in, te in Texas, Common Core was banned by the governor. But local school districts kept taking pedagogy, kept, bu kept buying textbooks, kept plugging into the state educational system to use Common Core approved materials. My understanding is that's exactly what happened in Florida, Keith? That's, uh, that's right. And actually, it's a little bit more insidious than that. Um, the Department of Education, which created these really great standards that we have, for, uh, the best standards for English language arts, uh, they went out last fall to all of uh, many of the large conglomerate uh, publishers. You know them as Pearson, McGraw-Hill, uh, Houghton Mifflin, and they invited them to bid. And, and they invited them to bid against the new best standards, which they did. Unfortunately, the Department of Education forgot to tell them to leave the bad stuff out. So what we're getting is, uh, 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 and, and since then, the Department of Education has approved many of those materials. So now we have school districts that are buying um, uh, English language arts material infused with critical race theory that is just insidious. And w once they buy those, they're going to be in, the, in uh, schools for the next four to six years. And you pointed out very early, Duke, this is worse than Common Core. Common Core dumbed our kids down. This is teaching our kids to be racist and to hate the United States. And once that's done, you know, I think it's game over. Yeah, and, and to be very clear here, well before the critical race theory actually reared its ugly head, Florida, and largely directed by the Florida Citizens Alliances, you guys actually got a real good revision of, of textbooks for English, for instance, English language arts and other subjects. You actually purged the Florida uh, schools of some of the worst aspects of what was No Child Left Behind in Common Core. You, you put together a really solid educational program in math and reading. Now along comes critical, critical race theory. The governor outlaws that. And by the process you just described, all that hard work has been compromised by these big textbook companies who, plan, who, who promised to give the right texts for your curriculum, but then conveniently left in all of that critical race theory. Is that pretty much how it happened? That's exactly right. Well, what's, so, what, well what can you do? What can Florida, what can the governor do now? We're asking the governor uh, through a, a petition that you can find on our website, we're asking the governor uh, to do two things. One, to halt the adoption process that's taken place in every school district in Florida. There are 67 counties, they're adopting these materials. Some have already done so and signed contracts. We want to unwind those, even if there's a penalty associated with that. But we're asking him to put out a, 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 a just a full stop. 
the second thing we're asking him to do, and some you, I'm sure you're aware, Duke, that a couple of weeks ago, uh, Biden uh, authorized his Department of Education to create a process for uh, the, the federal government to fund critical race theory grants directly uh, to government agencies and schools. Uh, we're asking the governor to put out a, uh, a executive order to prohibit any Florida school district from accepting that grant money. And you see the parallelism, right? With Common Core, how did the government get in? With race to the top grants, they bribe states. What is the Biden administration doing? Using these grants to bribe states into the program. So um, given what you know about Florida politics, Domine, given what you know about your work with the Florida Citizens Alliance, how likely are, is the governor to do either one of those things? And even if he were to do them, what kind of pushback do you imagine would come from the uh, the educrats in Florida? Mm. There will definitely be a lot of pushback. We're already seeing pushback on our social media, um, you know, talking about how critical race theory is harming students. And we see teachers will actually comment on our pages and they're vicious um, coming against this and saying that these things should be taught. So there are many activist teachers, administrators, you know, uh, activists just all around who want to see this being taught. Um, I think that if we can get to Governor DeSantis, he has been very supportive uh, thus far. He absolutely backs everything that we believe in and everything that we're trying to accomplish. Um, it just gets difficult to kind of take that extra step. He already claimed, uh, he already said that these are wacko theories and said they should not be taught in schools and banned them. But will he take that extra step? Um, that's really what we're hoping he'll do. Um, you just really never know. You never know uh, when it comes up to Tallahassee. It, it can, um, you know, it could work out in our favor, but uh, we're just hoping and praying that, that we can get enough people on this petition um, because parents are not happy. And it's time that it's time that our legislators really listen to what the parents want. Keith, let's say the governor does try to act on this and, and remove it. Will he then find himself running afoul of so-called local control, the idea that every individual local school district is allowed to pick their curriculum? Would he, by, by at that point, run up against that brick wall? Well, I'm sure he'll get some pushback along those lines. Uh, the, the union in Florida, as it is across uh, the teachers' unions, as it is across the nation, are strong. Uh, and, and I'm sure that'll be a criticism uh, one of the things that we think he can he can do through the State Board of Education, if he puts out uh, the full stop that we're asking him to do, um, one of the things that we're arguing that the, each school district can do and the Department of Education can do is to replace the, those terrible materials that are being adopted with, with simply um, original source documents and the classics that are actually infused into our really good standards. These local school districts who are spend, spending tens of millions of dollars to buy this garbage can literally use original source documents and off-the-shelf materials, uh, classical materials, at 10 cents on the dollar for printing, printing costs. So we're, we're not just saying stop, we're offering a solution um, as a stopgap. And the other thing that I think uh, we would like to see is if the governor does this, then the Department of Education can follow up with State Board of Education rules that actually decertify any teacher that teaches it. And the other aspect of that that's really kind of cool, you remember on your show we've talked about the uh, HOPE Scholarship. If the school districts continue to buy these materials, any teacher that uses critical race theory in the classroom is automatically qualifying their students for the HOPE Scholarship. Uh, which is uh, allows this, the, the parent to get their kids out of government school and get an, uh, up to an $8,000 annual stipend to send their, their child to a private school. So there's a couple of things that are positive there. Um, the governor has to take the next step. It is really interesting to me that the, the solution is the beginning. Go back to where we started. Use the primary documents. It's exactly what things like No Child, Goals 2000 with Clinton, No Child Left Behind Under Bush, Common Core. It's exactly what they wanted to get away from. Let's not teach the founding document. Let's not expose kids to the actual history because that does not end up always telling a progressive story.
And so I think you're exactly right. But you can see the battle that's looming. You want to take it back to original sources. They've spent 30 years of blood and treasure removing that. So uh, Ron DeSantis is going to have a huge role to play in this. Dominate, take a few minutes, take a minute and tell us how can anybody who wants to hook up with or find information about your organization, give them all the ways they can find it and what ways they can help. Um, if anyone's interested in uh, joining this petition, we are always looking for more people um, to urge Governor DeSantis to uh, take this action. So if you go to goflca.com, goflca.com, uh, they can find it on the front page. It says call to action, help Governor DeSantis remove critical race theory from Florida schools. So we encourage people to go check that out. It literally with one click of a button, they can send uh, the petition to Governor DeSantis and Commissioner of Education, Richard Corcoran. Um, and then we encourage them to check out our website. Um, in general, we have lots of events uh, coming up. We've had a few events this past year um, where we talk about different partners such as Freedom Project Academy uh, to help parents find alternatives. So um, again, check out goflca.com and, and sign that petition. All right, guys, I really appreciate your time today. Once this matter is settled, once the governor acts or doesn't act, let's get back together and, and give an update on what's going on. Thank you.